Welcome to RuralVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith, and I'd like to talk to you about some cheap land in Kern County, California. This one is a little over two and a half acres, 2.74 acres, right next to a road. I'm asking $1,499 for this property. So let's pull it up. Let's take a look at it. I've got GPS coordinates on here. I've got Buy It Now. You click the Buy It Now and, and check out with it. Taxes have been about $30 a year. Let's pull it up on a map. It's coming. So it's next to next to the 14 here. If we zoom out, I can show you where we're at in the world, and then we zoom back in. Let's do a map. So we're in Southern California. Baker Bakersfield's here. There's some mountains between here and Bakersfield, like the Hatchapi Pass and stuff. Los Angeles is down here. Let's see how far it is from Los Angeles like downtown Los Angeles um, hour 45 going through Mojave Lancaster Palmdale 14 and over two two hours going that way a couple different routes you could take let's keep moving in well I hit the wrong button let me start over So Bakersfield's over here. Let's see if the map comes up. So there's Bakersfield. Here's the property. Here's the mountains. Sequoia National Forest is right here. Ridgecrest, Lancaster, Palmdale. So you can shoot the 14 up through here and out right up to the property. Looks like a nice place to you know, jump off with your four wheelers, dirt bikes, and all kinds of desert toys and drive around the area. Bigger roads right here. Little roads right here. There's a turn off, Pine Tree Canyon. You can turn off the Pine Tree Canyon. Let's see if we can do street view. So here's, uh, here's the hillside property would be up here somewhere. This would be the turn off. So you could turn off here. It looks like a cattle grate. And get onto this dirt road. You know, so this is, see if there's a sign. Ah, we're going the wrong way. No, there's a, uh, you know, there's a median crossing and stuff. There's a road that goes off into the desert that way. So if we zoom out, it's called Pine Pine Tree Canyon Road. So right across from Pine Tree Canyon Road, I guess it does go up the canyon there. There's a dirt road. You can get off that dirt road, take the road up a bit to the property, and uh, now it's not coming up. There it is. So you get off there and go up the road a little bit on dirt and you get to the property. Let's see if we can straighten this out. Oops, it's upside down. Now it's north south. So the property is here along this, this two track. You can take this two track, hang a, a right, and you're right onto the property. So the GPS coordinates I have in the listing are to the center of the property. And so that dirt road runs basically the western boundary of the property. And then um, so if you follow that to the GPS coordinates, that will take you to the center of the property. 2.74, I think this is going to be, um, well, let's just measure it. Three hundred feet, basically, three hundred by four hundred on the short end, and five hundred on the long end, roughly. So, 
400 foot, 500 foot, 300 foot north to south. Um, probably 450 foot to the middle. And uh, it's right up abutting the, the road. So I'm not sure if you could turn off the road here. Let's get rid of the, there's probably a fence. Nothing like some midnight wire cutting, right? Um, yeah, there's a fence. There's a little fence here, so I don't think you can drive right off the road to the property. But this is the property. This is the countryside. Looks like a good area to, to set up. You could probably camp for the weekend out here, drive dirt bikes around. There's dirt roads run off in all kinds of directions. You could jump over the freeway here, take the canyon trails up into the mountains. Um, this isn't a freeway, it's highway. You get these mountain views off in multiple directions. So that's the property. I was asking one thousand four hundred ninety-nine bucks. Um, you can check out online. There's a buy it now button. You click on that. Just got that set up. You can put your title information in there, contact information and stuff. Hit next. Put your credit card, debit card in there, one or the other, and uh, I'll do all the paperwork to get it into your name. Let's take a look at some other maps of property lines. This is uh, you know this is the property line running right along that dirt trail. The GPS coordinates coming from the middle, and it's in Holdings Adventure. It's one of my companies. Um, I pulled up on Land Watch. I was trying to see what what the cheapest properties in the area are, and I did two and a half acres and up, uh, Kern County only, and I sorted from low to high. A couple of these guys come up here. They got uh, you know monthly payments for five acres, four acres, whatever, and then the cheapest one that's actually putting a price up there, like how much could you actually buy it for, not just the payments. It's Land Century, $1,999 for 2.55 acres. And that's further out in the county. That's it's longer drive from town uh, by Edwards Air Force Base area. Uh, there's generally a lot of cheap land in there, too. So th I think this one's closer to town. So 2.74 uh, acres for $1,499. I think that makes it the cheapest in the county for this size property. And um, yeah, another 500 bucks, and you start seeing some other ones you could choose from that are still a hair smaller, further drive from town. But um, that's where the market starts happening more around three grand and up. You get some more selections for these kinds of properties. So I think it's it just under 1500 bucks. It's less than half of you know what you can choose from in the area, basically. So I think someone will probably buy that and love it and um, let's see if this software is software is not keeping up um, but that's the property $1,400 for or $1,499 for 2.74 acres in Kern County you can drive right up to thanks for listening thanks for watching Luke Smith RuralVacantLand.com